Madness is the gift nobody wants, but I hand it out for free. <laughs> are joking this madness must end leave us alone leave this city <laughs> oh my dear madness doesn't end it spreads it dances it sings lullabies in the dark <laughs> You might think this is VO3. Nope, this is Higgs Field 1 2.5. It creates high quality video with audio, music, and sound effects, just like VO3. And compared to VO3's 8 second videos, Higgs Field 1 2.5 generates videos of up to 10 seconds long. And the crazy thing about this model is it is uncensored. It doesn't care if you're trying to generate a celebrity or use improper language, it just gives you the video. Not only that, it's also much cheaper, very cheaper than VO3. In fact, this platform I'm about to show you can generate unlimited videos using one 2.5. Here are some other videos I created with Higgs Field 1 2.5. <laughs> So, Bear, tell me, what's it like living in the wild? Honestly, Max, it's peaceful, except when humans leave their trash everywhere. This meal is amazing, but not as amazing as your company. You always know how to make me smile. Nights, I shine so free, gold chains on me, but my soul's the key. Voices rise, let the city know. From the heart of the streets, my fire will grow. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to use Higgs Field 1 2.5 to create high quality AI videos that look like they were made with VO3. I'll be using Higgs Field to show you how because it is the most powerful AI platform out there for creators, marketers, or brands. One of the best platforms out there I can use. My name is Charles. Let's do this. The first thing we're going to do is to go to Higgs Field. I'm going to leave the link to Higgs Field in the description of this video. Once you click the link, it's going to take you to this page here. Now, with this platform, you can get unlimited generations for one 2.5. Uh, don't worry, before the end of the video, I'll show you how to assess the unlimited generations. As you can see here, you can also get unlimited generations for Kling 2.5. You can also get unlimited generations for Nano Banana for one year and then for Seed Dream unlimited for one year. This is crazy. This platform also has a bunch of other tools that allow you edit image, create consistent character, lip sync audio, upscale image and video, and even create scroll stopping viral VFX with AI. Now to get started, just click on sign up or sign in at the top right. And once you're logged in, you can start creating. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're missing out on a lot of goodies. There are lots of helpful videos here, so hit the subscribe button, like, and share. Now, to start generating, we are going to click on Unlimited 1 2.5 here, or we just scroll to the top here on Video, hover there, and then down here, we click on 1 2.5. Now, I want to see how Higgs Field 1 2.5 handles motion and explosion so we are going to generate a video. Now, before we start generating, if you're using 1.2.5, you have to be sure that it is written here 1.2.5. And then down here, you just enter your prompt and upload your image. Now, you have to upload an image when using 1.2.5. If you just put a prompt, it's not going to work. Now, the crazy thing about 1.2.5, like I said, is it has unlimited mode. So I can just turn this on <laughs> and I start generating videos unlimited right but it only works with this 720p uh, resolution and over here you can increase the duration to 10 seconds if you want the video to be 10 seconds and the model here is in 1.2.5 fast you can use 1.2.5 fast but i've tried 1.2.5 fast what i know that works really well is 1.2.5 the normal one year and if you want your video to be high quality clean sharp you're going to click on resolution and click on 1080p now if you want to use the unlimited like i said you have to switch it back to 720 
So to generate our first video, we are going to upload an image or we can just generate one here in Higgs field. So we can just click on image here and then go to Nano Banana to start generating the image. So down here, Nano Banana, you can change it to any other model, maybe Flux Context and just enter your prompts to generate. So to generate the image, I'm just going to use Flux Context and then I'm going to select this 16-9 aspect ratio and paste the prompt that I got directly from ChatGPT. Here, this is the prompt and boom, I have this image here of this car chase. So what I want to do is to see how we handle this explosion with the car at the back. So I've uploaded the image here. What I'll do here is to enter my prompt. Now, you can leave this enhance prompt enhancer on, but for me, I'm just going to turn it off. If you don't know what type of prompt to use, or if you're not sure about your prompts, you could just put in something here and turn on the enhancer. Like I said, I'll leave this off and then I'll click on generate. And boom, we have our video. Let's watch it. Wow, I love the quality of this video. As you can see, I love the fact that the explosion only happened when the car at the back hit the Lamborghini. <laughs> this is really good. And then the explosion that came up from the roof is really, really good. Uh, but the car was still moving after the explosion. Yes, I don't expect the car to just stop. You know, there is force, so the car would have to move. <laughs> this is really good. The video came out smooth with almost no morphine. The audio lined up perfectly and the AI even matched the sound effects with the visuals automatically. Insane. Now let's try to make this more interesting. You know VO3 is pretty good at singing and rapping. Let's try that with 1.2.5. Let's see how we handle music generation and vocals. So I just uploaded this image here of a man singing and then the prompt just says a man is rapping in London and then down here is the lyrics of the song I want the man to rap to. So I'm going to click on generate. And boom, we have our video. Let's watch. Night, I shine so free. Gold chains on me, but my soul's the key. Voices rise, let the city know. From the heart of the streets, my fire will grow. Okay, this is good. It's pretty good. But I noticed that the mic stand just disappeared. But this is really good. The sound quality, the way he turned from the road and faced the camera and started singing actually makes more sense. This is good. Now let's test the animation capabilities by generating a 3D video. So what I did here was to upload the image, this 3D image I generated here on Higgs field and enter this prompt here that just says a 3D pizza style image or character of, you know, an African man with a white woman having a dinner. And then I just put a short um, speech of what I want them to say. All right, let's see if it's going to stick to it. So let's hit generate and boom, we have our video. Let's watch. This meal is amazing, but not as amazing as your company. You always know how to make me smile. Wow, I love this. What really stood out was the stability, minimal morphing between frames and crystal clear quality throughout. You can see the sharpness and the voiceover, you know, synced seamlessly. And, you know, with the sound effect, everything, the tonality of the voice, it gave that polished, finished video. So how about a 2D video? <laughs> Let's see what one can do. Now, I uploaded an image and then enter this prompt that says a 2D style illustration of two elder friends talking on a quiet park bench, blah, blah, blah. And then down here, I, you know, just specify what I wanted them to say. Forget you, George. How about some roasted chicken and mashed potatoes? <laughs> All right, let's generate this. And boom, we have our video. Let's see. I haven't eaten since morning. I could go for a big plate of stew. Forget stew, George. How about some roasted chicken with mashed potatoes? Wow, this is not bad also. The 2D video came out well. What I see here is a lot of people would, you know, switch to 1.2.5 because it's doing everything that VO3 can do and it's giving us what we want the clarity for me it's clearer than VO3 I, I know you might want to argue 1.2.5 gives 1080p resolution while VO3 gives 720p so just know now most of the time when generating a video with VO3 well, especially where we have three characters in the scene who are expected to talk one after the other VO3 most of the times gets it wrong 
you would have to try a few times before getting a good result, before getting a result that you can use. Now, what about Higgs Field 1 2.5? Can it actually generate video where three characters speak one after the other? Let's try it. Let's create a podcast clip with three characters in it. So here I've uploaded an image of three people recording a podcast. So down here is just the prompt here, which says a hyper-realistic image. This is an image prompt I'm just using for the video, but it came out well, right? For the prompt, I said a hyper-realistic um, image of three people recording a podcast in a modern studio with microphone, headphones, and soft ambient lighting, and blah, blah, blah. And down here, which is very important, I specified what each of the characters would say, three of them. So the first one, I specified what the black man would say. The first character and then the second character what the second character would say and here also the third character what the third character would say let's generate this video and boom we have the results hmm so the real question is what's next for tech in 2026 i think ai will shape everything from business to daily life and hopefully it won't steal our jobs <laughs> just our coffee orders wow i didn't expect it to turn out this good the video flowed smoothly no weird glitches the characters we are interacting and looking at each other and also the lip sync came out really good you know those animal podcasts where you have animals speaking let's give it a shot let's find out whether one 2.5 can animate and lip sync animals with vocals something a lot of models struggle with so i just uploaded the podcast image of a dog and a bear as the host and down here i've entered the prompt the prompt just says oh max the dog says this and um the beer says this. Let's see what's going to happen. You click on generate and boom, we have this video. So, Bear, tell me, what's it like living in the wild? Honestly, Max, it's peaceful, except when humans leave their trash everywhere. Hmm, this is good. This is good. One 2.5 handled it well. You can see the animals talking and the lip sync match what they are saying. Now, I know this is usually done in your tree, but you can see here that one 2.5 can also do the same thing and do it for a cheaper cost. So how did I create a short movie that was shown at the beginning of this video? Step one is just to get your idea together and generate the image for the scene. So what you're going to do to generate an image in Higgsfield is to hover on image here and then come down to either Flux or Nano Banana. So I'm going to click on Nano Banana. Now I used the combination of Flux Context Max and Nano Banana for the images. Why didn't I just use Nano Banana? So currently Nano Banana generates in a default one by one aspect ratio unless you upload an image. If you upload an image along with your prompt, it's going to give you an output with the aspect ratio of the uploaded image. So what I'm going to do is to generate with Flux. I'm going to change this from Nano Banana to Flux Context Max and enter this prompt here and then ensure it's in 16 by 9 and then click on generate and boom we have this result so we download this result and upload it back to higgs field and generate with nano banana why are we doing this why don't we just use flux max image right it's quite good for me i like the realism in nano bananas image compared to flux context and besides it's going to be probably around the same image so I want my image to be realistic. So here I've uploaded the image of Joker, which I just generated. And then I've entered the prompt to generate the video, which says, oh, Joker is standing on top of a car. And I want Joker to say this. I want him to shout saying madness is the gift. Nobody wants blah, blah, blah. And then I made sure that here is turned off. Now, if you want your prompt to be adhered to, turn this off. And if you want the quality that I was talking about, if you want a very good quality for your video, use one 2.5, don't use the fast and ensure that your resolution is in 1080p. Once you have this set, you click generate. Now for the unlimited generation, you must change to 720 before you use it. It can be used with 1080p. You have to switch. All right, let's generate. And boom, we have this video right here. So after we have this video, we're going to generate the next video, which is the man raising his hand up and shouting. So we are going to do the same thing. We are going to generate the image and then come back here and turn it to a video. So you can see here, I've uploaded the image of the man raising his hand up. He's not actually facing the camera. He's facing the side because of the kind of camera movement I want to give. And you can see the prompt here. Man walks out of crowd, his face filled with fury. And then blah, blah, blah. He says this. Always add the speech, what you want him to say. 
veins visible as he shouts, this madness must end, leave us alone, leave this city. And then once you have all this set, you click on generate. And you have this video showing right here for you. Now, the next scene is the part where Joker is talking and is a close shot. So we have to generate a close shot of Joker. Remember, we are using Nano Banana in Higgs field. So to get a close shot, what we are going to do is to use the wide shot that we got, the wide image of Joker, upload it to Nano Banana. You can see uploaded here. It is uploaded here. And then we say create a close up shot. Nano Banana will use this prompt to create a close shot of the joker this is a close shot that nano banana created so we'll download this and then we'll take this back to one 2.5 upload the image and enter this prompt here you can see this is the prompt i use for this particular um shot and also it comes with what i want him to say at that time right here don't worry i'm going to leave all the prompts that i used in this video in my telegram channel if you're not in my telegram channel the link is in the description of this video join my telegram channel to get access to all these prompts now we have this we just generate and boom we have the video of the joker so you just download it and then for the earth zoom out transition where it zooms out of joker and goes outside earth i'm going to cover that in another video because i don't want this video to be very long so in that video i'm going to break down how to do those types of vfx effects transition and all that now the next thing we are going to do is to take all the videos that we've gotten and we are going to take it to CapCut and then put all of them together we put all the videos that we've generated we arrange them accordingly we add sound we add background music we add effects now the thing that makes your video stand out is sound sound effects right you add sound effects you add music everything and you export to have this video here madness is the gift nobody wants but i hand it out for free <laughs> you are joking this madness must end leave us alone leave this city Oh my dear, madness doesn't end. It spreads, it dances, it sings lullabies in the dark. <laughs> so you can try this out for free, but the free plan has limited credits and features. They also have basic plan which is nine dollars per month it gives you just 150 credits there's also the pro plan ultimate and the creator now to get access to the unlimited one 2.5 generations and clean gear generations you have to go with the ultimate plan at least but if you want to get everything the platform has to offer including all the unlimited offers just go with the creator plan which is $249 per month. I'll leave the link to Hicksfield in the description of this video. Sign up and start creating. I'm going to share the prompts I used in this video in my Telegram channel. The link to join my Telegram is in the description of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe because you're missing on a lot. Like this video, share, and I'll see you here. Watch this video next.